Welcome everyone, your magic keyboard isn't working, mainly the trackpad. So for example, if I do a two finger swipe and I do it to the left, you can see right now it's moving to the right, but earlier it would swipe up. So I'm swiping to the left and it swipes up. That is a bug. That's the first thing I'll show you to fix. Second thing is sometimes when you're scrolling, you may notice that the scrolling is laggy. And that's because the scroll only registers when you release your finger from the trackpad, not as you're moving your finger on the trackpad. Uh, so in order to fix this issue, uh, the first thing I want you to try, this is a very simple uh, fix. This will work for 25% of people, uh, but it's a very simple one. You just want to disconnect your iPad from the Magic Keyboard, just like this, and connect it again. Then, if you're in an app with the bug, close out of that app and reopen it. That should fix the issue where the scrolling is glitchy uh, in the sense of, you know, it feels laggy, it only scrolls when you release. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, and of course, uh, if you still have the issue where you're sliding to the left, but it slides up or down, like really weird, then this is the solution. So we need to initiate a false restart. The software that launched with this iPad should not have launched at all. Um, I've had so many crashes. You can watch my Magic Keyboard Folio tutorial next. Crash, crash, crash. <laughs> It's shocking. So in order to initiate the false restart, you're gonna see, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect from the keyboard case. You can keep connected, but I just need to show the process, right? So you need to click and release volume up, then click and release volume down, then click and hold the power button and keep this one held down until you see the Apple logo. So don't go on, you do this right now. Let's do this together so you can get this done. So we're gonna start in three, two, one, click release volume up, click release volume down, and I accidentally click the power button. So we're gonna have to try again. Click release volume up, click release volume down, click on the power button, uh, keep this held down until you see the Apple logo. So if you did something like me where you accidentally, you know, click the power button when you shouldn't have done, or you're holding the power button, but then you accidentally release it, you will need to repeat the key combination when we see the Apple logo, uh, we can release our finger from the power button. It doesn't matter if your keyboard is connected or not. Once the operating system has restarted, temporarily or for hopefully for good, the issue should be solved. But I do recommend you do the following. So let's unlock the iPad and you wanna open up the settings and you're gonna find where it says general and you're gonna tap on software update. So I am on the latest software and somehow it's as buggy as it is, but in the future, there's gonna be new software released for the iPad. And when that happens, hopefully these bugs will go away. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Like I was recording a tutorial on how to use this Magic Keyboard Folio, which is in the description. It's an incredible tutorial. You're gonna learn everything. But I had probably 10 crashes in the video. I don't know how many crashes I'll show because I'm gonna cut most of it out. But it was crazy. I had the keyboard issue, which I showed you how to fix. That fix was shown live in that video. If you're, you're thinking I'm a liar, no, it does work. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Hopefully your Magic Keyboard Folio is fixed. This also works on regular Magic Keyboard as well. Bye-bye.